to invite Gabriel Adonailo, who is the treasury, treasurer of LACNIC's board of directors. You have the floor. Thank you, Oscar. Good afternoon, everyone. I won't uh, be. I won't speak for too long. I'd just like to share the positions of the board uh, are defined by the members that uh, uh, and uh, the terms last one year. At present, Werner Maya and myself are responsible for as treasurers of the organization. We represent the board in all the activities related to the financial issues and we have related to the executive the finances and the fiscal committee and the external auditors as to the operational aspects these are uh, um it's the financial management is in charge of them we are also part of the finances committee where we regularly check uh, for key areas, the budget, the reserves, investment, and the balance. This enables us uh, to do a continuous monitoring through a fluent communication between the parties that are part of that committee. Now, our financial uh, CEO, our, our FCO, Diego Mena will present uh, the balance, uh, financial balance, and the audit of the, ex the external auditor's report. And after that, after the fiscal committee's re commission's report, he will give us the decision. Um, and I want to thank you in the name of the entire board. I want to thank the fiscal committee because of uh, all the time that they devote to these tasks. Good afternoon, everyone. From the beginning of the pandemic, we have shared uh, remotely. We gave you information about the financial situation of uh, LACNIC. We did that uh, for 2019 in LACNIC 33 and for 2020 in the online event of LACNIC 35. We uh, uh, posted the presentations on the website in uh, the transparency section and there we included uh, the financial balances the accounting and the decisions by the external auditors and the fiscal commission fortunately this year we can uh, uh, present uh, the financial uh, results for 2021 uh, uh, in person in 2021 2021 was a very special year, different from 2019 and uh, 2022, but similar to 2020. So the most uh, characteristic thing is, well, the pandemic, of course. In these two last years, the activities that received the worst impact by COVID-19 were the in-person activities, more specifically our events. LACNIC has instrumented uh, uh, several years ago a policy of uh, where they, we rotate the external accounting auditors. Until 2020, we had uh, Deloitte, and starting in 2021 and uh, up to 2023, uh, KPMG. And we do this not just out of transparency, but also because of the added value that because it's important for us to have received different uh, points of view and uh, that uh, is uh, instrumental for the continuous improvement of our processes. The financial statements that we're going to share, we need to show the figures comparing them to the previous year to that uh, so in order to make it uh, easier to see the first column in blue we have the closure of 2021 in green 
the balance of 2020 and the last one in gray what the delta was now let me share some of the most important uh, elements of the financial statement the availability that is uh, uh, is remains in the liquidity levels established by the organization as to the financial investment. Here we have a change in the way we present this as compared to, to previous years. And to 2020, we put everything in just one line. But starting this year, we break them down based on their maturity. In the current assets, we have the investment with the maturity under 12 months. And in the not current, uh, with those uh, that won't mature until from uh, periods longer than one year. And uh, if we compare it to the previous year, ba basically, there you see the positive yields th uh, this year. On the other hand, the variation uh, for credits because of memberships and different uh, um, items, this, uh, there's, uh, this difference is due to the method for collecting uh, the fees. And then there are FRIDA grants that are um, that are still pending uh, reimbursement. Now let's see the statement of results. Here we have a summarized uh, version that will give you an overview, and then we'll see them in further detail. In 2020, despite uh, the effort, our efforts, we uh, were unable to execute the budget that had been planned because of uh, the pandemic restrictions. In 2021, we, we recovered some of that capability because we reactivated some in-person activities. And here you can see the operational results to your left, uh, the um, revenues and uh, their, the, um, ex the spending. And here I want to highlight that uh, the uh, here the payments for fees is are not under financial uh, status. And as to operation spending, the two main variations as compared versus the previous year. First, we have the payments, um, the increase in the salaries due to inflation, and on the other hand, the rise of uh, the uh, uh, spending due to hybrid events. In 2020, 100% of the events were online. This we, we just show this, but there is nothing uh, relevant to highlight. Just take a look at it. And finally, we have uh, the opinion of the independent external audits and the results of their work was uh, um, an opinion, a clean opinion with no uh, um, exceptions. So it's been a pleasure to share this with you, and I am ready to answer any doubts or any questions that you may have before I give back the floor to the members of the Fiscal Committee. Thank you. Buenas tardes a todos. Mi nombre es Adriana Ibarra de México y junto con mis compañeros Hernán de Argentina y Aristóteles de Brasil conformamos la Comisión Fiscal. En rapidito, de una forma muy práctica, nuestra intención es comunicarles cuáles son nuestras funciones. Vamos a dar algunos ejemplos y también referencias para aquellos que deseen revisar un poquito más cuáles son nuestros deberes y, y quieran aprender o participar más en la comisión. Bueno, nosotros somos una comisión independiente del directorio y del ACNIC. Estamos, está integrada por tres miembros que la integramos por tres años. Nosotros somos elegidos por la comunidad por ustedes y cada año se renueva uno de los cargos. 
Si ustedes desean identificar un poquito más a detalle los deberes y atribuciones de la Comisión Fiscal, tenemos eh, los estatutos a partir del artículo 27, detallan eh, nuestras actividades y como mencionaba el directorio, eh, este último año hicimos una revisión para entender y facilitar un poquito más la revisión y mi compañero Hernán va a platicarles más a detalle de forma específica qué hacemos y solo para darles una pequeña introducción, nosotros viajamos una vez al año a las oficinas del ACNE, que estamos aproximadamente un día y medio eh, ahí y tenemos varias reuniones que vamos ahorita a mencionar para, para expresarles un poquito de una forma más práctica las funciones que, que realizamos. Punto importante, un miembro de la Comisión Fiscal eh, participa también como miembro del Comité de Ética. Actualmente tengo la fortuna de participar junto con Carmen y Oscar y, y se va rotando esa participación en el Comité de Ética también. Y brevemente, debido a la pandemia, como todos sabemos, en 2019 y 2020, bueno, nos tocó hacer nuestro dictamen y revisión de forma remota estuvo interesante, tuvimos algunos retos, pero afortunadamente eh, todo salió muy bien, mucha disponibilidad y los resultados fueron satisfactorios. Y Hernán nos va a comentar un poquito más a detalle las funciones. Bien, sí, ya en este 2022 la revisión del, del año 2021 la hicimos en forma presencial. Es más o menos un día y medio de, de trabajo neto en donde recibimos presentaciones, eh, algunas de las mismas que reciben ustedes, nada más que la diferencia es que en una sala de reunión con, con muy poquitos podemos entrar en, en detalle, preguntar, y eso se nos abre la información en función a, a las dudas que nosotros vamos teniendo. Eh, les cuento un poco, me traje aquí como un machete para no olvidarme de contarles qué, es, qué son las cosas que más o menos hacemos regularmente, digamos. ¿no? Por, por un lado tenemos la, la presentación de la dirección ejecutiva, eh, de la misma forma la recibieron ustedes eh, con, con actividades y objetivos del ACNIC para, eh, alineados al, plan, al nuevo plan estratégico del 2022-2025. Eh, nosotros todos los años cuando terminamos hacemos un, un documento de, eh, hacia el directorio en el cual... Eh, contamos las cosas que destacamos, que hemos visto y también hacemos sugerencias. Como, como dijo Alejandro de alguna manera, en esta etapa de excelencia las sugerencias son cada vez más difíciles de hacer porque hay, 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 es difícil encontrar qué sugerir. Pero siempre algo se nos ocurre y hacemos esas sugerencias y al año siguiente revisamos qué, qué pasó con esas sugerencias porque el ACNIC avanza eh, y, y casi diría en el 100% de los casos atiende a esas sugerencias y da, da alguna respuesta o solución a lo planteado. Eh, recibimos la explicación de, de Diego y su, y su gente respecto a la ejecución presupuestaria, obviamente acá con, con más detalle porque vamos preguntando y se van abriendo las partidas y tratando de entender eh, con mayor detalle. Eh, atendemos a la presentación de estados eh, financieros que hace el ACNIC y los auditores externos, con quienes después nos reunimos en privado para, para poder hacer aquellas preguntas eh, que, que bueno, no, no digo que resultaran incómodas, pero que, que queremos entrar en mayor profundidad y queremos que nos lo respondan los, los que hicieron ese trabajo de auditoría. ¿no? Eh, se nos presentan las actualizaciones de procesos y políticas y, y en base a, esas, a, esas, eh, a esos procesos y políticas hacemos muestreos para verificar los, los cumplimientos. Eh, y, y bueno, And uh, finally, we have a meeting with uh, the executive directors to say the things that we highlight and to give suggestions and to close. So based on the review of 2022 and 2021, we issued a favorable opinion. So we recommend the approval by the assembly of the accounting statements of 2020 in 2019, 2020, 2021. So Aristoteles will now give you the uh, opinion. Good afternoon, everybody in Cali, the board, and our friends. 
I'm Aristotle. I'm a member of the Fiscal Committee. And I'm going to tell you the opinion that we issued in our work in March at the headquarters of LACNIC. The opinion of the Fiscal Committee, based on Article 5 and 27 of the bylaws uh, that are in force of the of uh, LACNIC for Latin America and the Caribbean, from now on LACNIC, and the Fiscal Committee gathers with Ana Jose, Aristoteles Sampas, and Adriana Ibarra. The meeting uh, now was uh, organized in person, except for Adriana, who participated remotely. So we issued an opinion in relation with the accounting statements of the access of as of uh, December 30, uh, 31st, 2021, and the report to the independent audit. Conclusions first. We reviewed the results of the audit of the accounting statement of the exercise uh, closed on uh, December 31st, 2021 by KPMG uh, as independent auditors, and the result of that audit was favorable, and the accounting statements present reasonably in all the aspects, significant aspects of the net worth of LACNIC as of December 31st, 2021. Second, based on the analysis of the Fiscal Commission of the report of the independent auditor and uh, the documentation required to LACNIC, we conclude that the data resulted reasonably reflect the net worth of LACNIC as of December 31, 2021. So we recommend approval by the General Assembly in accordance with LACNIC's bylaws. Thank you. Thank you.